someone has said it right. What oxygen is to the lungs, such is hope to life. The past few days have been challenging for us. There was a sudden rise in the COVID-19 cases and many people were hospitalized due to dropping oxygen levels. Doctors were busy treating these patients. Meanwhile, many reported a bizarre condition called happy hypoxia. But what is happy hypoxia or silent hypoxia? How dangerous is it? How can one know about it? Know it all in this video of Explained. Hypoxia is a condition in which there is not enough oxygen available to the blood and body tissues. Hypoxia can affect the whole body or a region of the body. But happy hypoxia is even more dangerous. Normal blood oxygen level is 75 to 100 millimeters of mercury and normal pulse oximeter readings usually range from 95 to 100 percent. When levels fall below 90 percent, Patients can experience breathlessness, lethargy, confusion, or mental disruption. But nothing like this happens in the happy hypoxia. In happy hypoxia, patients with deficient oxygen levels do not show any sign of breathlessness. And that's why it is very dangerous because the patient's body is not showing any sign, but internally craving for oxygen. So why doesn't a patient feel breathlessness? Recently, research was published in the journal Nature Communications in which scientists finally revealed the relation between silent hypoxia and COVID-19 by using computer models. We need to understand the reasons why a patient feels breathlessness. It's not only because of a fall in oxygen levels, but also due to the rise in carbon dioxide levels when the lungs cannot expel CO2 efficiently. In patients with COVID-19 pneumonia, air sacs of the lungs get filled with liquid, which reduces the supply of oxygen in the body. However, in the first few days, the lungs do not become stiff or heavy because of fluid, and hence they can expel carbon dioxide appropriately. Thus, the oxygen level dips, but the patients do not feel short of breath. Some scientists also believe that COVID-19 directly affects the body's oxygen sensing mechanism or the nervous system, which makes it less sensitive to the effects of low oxygen levels. So how can you stay ahead of silent hypoxia? Patients with happy hypoxia generally experience light symptoms of COVID-19 in the beginning and after a few days they begin to experience tightening of the chest. A pulse oximeter should be kept handy and one should monitor oxygen levels regularly. One might experience sweating without any reason. However, if you are sweating a lot then you may have the condition. Some patients experience a change in body color, sometimes blue and sometimes red as the body tries to fight the condition. Silent hypoxia can lead to a delay in seeking care till the patient has reached a life-threatening stage of illness. However, one can stay away from this condition by staying vigilant, monitoring oxygen regularly and taking doctor's advice early. That's all in this episode of COVID-19 Explained. Do write to us on which topic you would like us to make a video. 